Hello everyone, here is Miss May Mahmoud, and I welcome you again in Connect Grade 5, Unit 3. How do I look? How do I look? I want to describe myself. So tell me, what can you see in this picture? Colorful picture. Is it nice? Yeah, I think it's very wonderful. What are these children doing? Are they in school? Are they at the beach? No. So, can you describe this picture? Where are they? And what are they doing? Wonderful. It's a wedding in Nuba. Do you know where is Nuba? Yes, Nuba is in the south of Egypt. They are very kind people. And as you can see, they are wearing traditional clothes. Clothes? Don't say it like clothes. It's not clothes. Melevis pronounced as clothes. When in Tashikin, Melevis clothes. Clothes. And in this unit, we were going to listen, read, and make a research and write about different types of clothes. We're going to listen to a conversation about packing for a vacation. Packing. The meaning of packing. Awadav shanta. Bro. And practice using the infinitive of purpose. I want you to look at this wonderful girl. Can you see this wonderful girl? I like the colors. She's very pretty. And I like her wearing wedding clothes. So, do you think that these clothes, traditional or modern? Yeah, you're right. It's of course traditional clothes. Traditional clothes. Now we're going to listen to this conversation from mom and Asir. What are mom and Asir doing? Asir, we need to pack our suitcase for our holiday tomorrow. Pack. It's so exciting. Can't wait to go to Al Fayyum and see Uncle Hatem and Aunt Malak. And of course, Ferris and Dina. I know, I'm excited to, to see them. We haven't seen them for ages. But come on, we need to pack. Okay, I need to pack my green t-shirt and my swimming shorts. Because they have a lovely pool, don't they? Yes. And remember, your sunglasses, it will be very sunny. Will I need a coat and a scarf? Will I need a coat and a scarf? No answer, you won't, but you should pack a sweater. It can be cool in the evenings. Okay, I'll pack my blue sweater. That's my favorite. You will need your sneakers because you will be walking around a lot and you need to wear something comfortable on your feet. What about my best galabella? Galabella. Will I need the one grandma gave me? No, you won't, but I will take my gold necklace. Gold necklace. Mm, okay, what else do I need? I know my pajamas. My pajamas. I'll take the ones with the stripes. Stripes. They are really cool. Now I want you to focus on the new vocabulary and the kind of clothes that Esther and Mom 
will take with them to a wonderful trip to El Fayum. Okay, as for the new vocabulary, pack our suits means prepare them. Put your clothes in the suitcase. Suitcase, shanti to suffer. Exciting, exciting. It's an adjective. Means surprising and, of course, interesting. Four ages. Four ages means for a long time. Cool, cool equals wonderful. Stripes, stripes. The long lines in clothes. Comfortable, comfortable. Providing physical ease and relaxation. Yani, yani akun mirdeh. Now I want you to tell me what the word striped and spotted. Here we have. Striped t-shirts, striped, it's like this, and we have spotted, spotted, like this t-shirt and this dress. Spotted means, where it going? So, striped t-shirts, spotted dress, and spotted t-shirt. Lovely. Now, look at this funny picture. I need you to form a sentence describing this picture. What would you say? You say, it's... Huh, I give you a very short time to form a sentence describing this picture. Yeah, I can hear you smiling. I can hear you laughing. It's a striped zebra wearing a sported t-shirt. Striped zebra wearing a sported t-shirt. Again, here we have, this means, is this called t-shirt? T-shirt, sunglasses, sunglasses. It's not only glasses, but it's glasses for sun. Swimming shorts, swimming shorts. The shorts that we wear to go to the beach or the pool. Scarf, scarf, sweater, sweater, sneakers, sneakers, necklace, necklace, odd, pajamas, pajamas, Taban Kulinar feel pajamas. It's very comfortable to wear. Listen again and repeat after me. T-shirt, sunglasses, swimming shorts, scarf, sweater, sneakers, necklace, pajamas. Okay. Moving to another conversation about Thomas and Ferris. And remember that Thomas is not Egyptian boy. Thomas may be American boy. And they are talking together on the social media or on the phone. Yeah, social media. What does Thomas want to know about? Listen carefully and I want you to focus on the bold words. As you could be so quiet, we try to do my the كلمات اللي موجودة باللون الأسود الغامق. Hi, Ferris. Can you help me? 
I'm doing a school project about Egyptian clothing. Can you give me some information? Thomas is asking about information about the Egyptian clothing. Hi, Thomas. Yes, of course. What do you want to know? Well, what do you usually wear? Usually wear. Not usually or what else? I live in Suhag and it's usually very hot here. Today, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I live in Suhag. Do you know where is Suhag? In Upper Egypt. Yeah. Cool. Can you tell me about some traditional Egyptian clothing? Can you tell me about some traditional Egyptian clothes? Sorry, clothes. Traditional Egyptian clothes. Oh, sure. Well, many men wear the galabeya. You know galabeya, of course. Like this in that picture, galabeya. This lovely boy is wearing galabeya. Come and look at him. So, this is the long white robe that's very popular. Robe. Robe means thawb. Yes, I have seen it. It looks really cool to wear. Yes, it's cool because it's made from cotton. It's usually white, but you can get other colors too. The sleeves are long. Sleeves. Sleeves means this on your arm. The long cloth on your arm. Sleeves are so long so we don't get sunburned. Sunburned. If Ali, the kaftan or the galabia or thob, we can have long sleeves, a kman tawila. So they don't get sunburned. يعني ما ما يحصلهم شحرو من أشعة الشمس. Are there pockets? Are there pockets? What do you mean pockets? Do you see this boy is hiding his hand? Pockets. Pockets. يعني. Yes. Give. Give. Yes, but they are hidden. They are hidden. What do you mean of hidden? مختفية مخفية مش بينة. Can't you see? You can't see them from the outside. Do you wear galabeyes when you are celebrating a special festival? Special festival? We do. And the clothes we wear for Eid. Eid means Eid. For example, are very beautiful. They can be colorful. Sometimes there are beautiful patterns on them. Patterns means Ashkel, Elwen, Rusumet. Thank you, Ferris. That's really useful. Now, I want you to listen again. Rob. Coming of rope, sleeves, pockets, hidden. Where means put on your daddy. Traditional Egyptian clothes, traditional Egyptian clothes, al malabis al taqlidiya al masriya, zay, like galabay, sleeves. The parts of the shirt or blouse that cover your arm. That covers your arm. Pockets, a small piece of clothes sewn into or clothing used for putting small things. Gate. Hidden. Hidden. Can't be seen. Hidden. Mahfiya 